From Eligu, we've got the Smart Robot Car Kit, version 3.0 Plus. Now, what is this little car? Well, it's a smart robot car, an educational kit for beginners to put together so kids 12 and, and up can, you know, get hands-on experience on programming, electronics, putting the mechanics together, getting the hardware and the software to work together through all these parts, these modules that you're going to be able to put together and then control either through the built-in instructions that comes with it, or you can even program it further using the Arduino technology, the open source technology that it comes with. Now, as you can see here on the box, it does come with a lithium battery, and that's really what makes this the plus version that you can recharge the battery very nicely done there and of course we have everything in here all the instructions very nicely packaged and easy to follow so again perhaps you know of a child and or maybe you are the child in you that wants to play around and learn on hardware electronics robotics programming maybe you you always had a passion for this or you know a child a kid that wants to learn about this everything is very nicely labeled to make it easy we want to facilitate obviously kids these days to get interest in these areas right and it's very hard sometimes it does look like it's hard to do but it's not you have to just have faith and go through the instructions and that's what I'm gonna do here with you today in this review I'm going to start from scratch, go through the manual, and put this together step by step. So, yes, it can take an hour to put together, you know, but that's the fun of using this, right? You want to be able to kind of put it together. I love Lego and modular pieces, and this is really what it is. It's all modular pieces. Spread it out, get it all on the table, organize it neatly, right, so that you have it per box, Everything is labeled, by the way, so that you can match it, and it even comes with its own hardware. So you don't have to go out and start finding screws and screwdrivers and things like that. Everything is there. Just lay it all out nicely so that way you can follow the instructions, and that's what I did. So if it tells you to remove the sticky tape, you remove the sticky tape. If it tells you to look at this package that's labeled very nicely and get some screws out of that, you'll do that. If it says to get one of these little yellow motors from the bag, then you get one little yellow motor out of the bag. Pretty straightforward. So after you follow the instructions, then you follow and you move on to the next page. So this one said, put some screws in the little plate onto the motor. That's it. That was step one. So I did that, right? And then it says, repeat that four times because there's four wheels. Each wheel has a motor. So you just repeat it four times. And then the next page, it says, okay, now look at this other base plate and attach those little four motors to the back with two screws. So then you just repeat that four times and attach it with four screws. Again, screwdriver is there, so you don't have to go out and look for anything. So slowly follow through the instructions. And I'm going to speed up the video a little bit, obviously, or else this would take a whole hour. So we're going to speed it up a little bit, open up the packages, and again, follow the instructions, match things up to the pictures. Again, if you match things up to the way it is in the picture, you really can't go wrong, right? That's really what I'm doing. Matching it up, following the instructions, attaching the screws, and then plugging in the cables just like it shows in the picture. And by the way, they even have a video tutorial for this too. So if for some reason, you know, something is not clear to you there, watch the video and it'll be crystal clear. So here I just attached one of the sensors that's on the bottom. That's um, a three LED sensor that's going to be for line tracking, for example. And it comes with a main control board there, which we're going to put now in the center of this other base plate, as you can see right there. And again, it asks for four screws, so I attached four screws. And then it said, align these pins and put this other board on top. And that's the, one of the main control boards where all of the cables are going to be plugged into. And everything's labeled. By the way, this little piece here that I'm plugging in right now is the Bluetooth module. Okay, a nice little Bluetooth module. That's going to allow you to connect to your iOS phone or tablet or Android phone or tablet and then control um, the device from, from there. Okay, here is the lithium um, battery. Okay, the battery pack, which obviously has an on-off button on it. And on the side has the USB uh, plug so that you can recharge it. Okay, so you can recharge that to, uh, to the wall uh, you're with uh, the cables that uh, it comes with. You can also program it even further, and we'll talk about that later. Going through the rest of the assembly here, you can see here this 
uh, ultrasonic sensor. It looks like a little face, two eyes and a mouth. Very cute. And uh, you put that together, and that's going to be at the front of the robot car, obviously, to um, uh, for the obstacle avoidance portion, right? So that one's going to move around and detect if it's going to hit a wall, for example, and then stop. Okay, so that's, again, specified here in the manual how to plug in the cables and route them through the holes appropriately and plug it into the board, which is what I did. So once you've uh, attached that uh, sensor to the front, put in the little screws, attach the little cables. This is a lot of fun, like I said, going through it slowly, seeing it come to life is going to be great. Plugging in, putting in all the screws slowly, you know, if you're... Um, child is into mechanics and taking things apart and putting things back together again i mean they're gonna love this one so here we are routing cables through the hole and that's obviously going to be plugged into the modular board underneath and also another cable is going to go down to the sensors underneath at the bottom of the car which are three led sensors that's for the line tracking okay so you, sometimes you have to route things through the top down through the bottom okay so they made holes there so that you can do that so it's very nicely neat um, and organized. So once you've done that, as you can see right here, now it's a matter of plugging in the wheels, right? So I've got the wheels here. I've already put two in at the bottom, as you can see. Uh, it has a little notch there, so you can't go wrong on the uh, direction to plug it in. And you just put it there, then firmly press down. And then to keep that there, you just put in a little screw, okay? So it comes with all the screws, obviously. And uh, you fasten those screws on all four wheels and it will never come off, okay? Very solid, good construction on this uh, Eligu smart car. I gotta tell you, feels very good. Now, the remote control, it has one option here for you to control this through the IR remote control here, forward, backwards, side to side, and then some programming buttons that you can later set up. That's one way to uh, drive the car uh, and control it. The other one is through the app. Obviously, you download it from the app store, from the uh, uh, store, then through there, you have the option to control it. Now, obviously, you have to turn this on first, so make sure it's on. And then through the app, you can go to the smart robot car, and then you have the rocker control, the program, and the do-it-yourself uh, control, those three buttons. I'm going to use the rocker control, so I'm going to connect to the device now, like it says, through the Bluetooth, making sure that Bluetooth is on on your device, on your iOS or Android device. You'll connect to it, and now you can control it. You can see there there's buttons. One of them is for obstacle avoidance. The other one is for the line tracking or tracing. And, uh, well, I'm going to test out uh, in a moment the obstacle avoidance because it comes built in. The little program to show you and test it is already there, built in. So that's why this makes it great for kids because right out of the box, as soon as you assemble it, you can start playing with it. So the obstacle avoidance program here is basically put together piece by piece by the Eligu folks. They've already done this for you so you can test it. So I'm going to test it. I'm going to make sure it works. And when I press play on that little program, away it goes. I put a box in front of it here. It detects it. It turns around. It sees a wall. It detects it. Turns around. Okay, it goes this way. I put a box or my leg or my arm or something else in front of it. If it detects something there, if you wave something in front of it quickly and hold yourself, it will stop. It will stop. So I'm very impressed there on that sensor. It works very well. Um, that's one of the tests that I wanted to make sure uh, this car was assembled and works properly, and it does. So I'm very happy to report that. Now, the other thing that I want to talk about is the line tracking mode. That's the other option in the app that you saw. And that one here, you set up some tape, which it actually comes with. You can set it up like a little uh, trail for it to follow. And, um, and then... You press the play for it to go, and then away it goes. Look at that. It's just following the the tape. So that's another good score there. Check mark. Well done, because the sensors at the bottom of the car are also working. So once you know that those things are all working, now you can have fun with programming it, saving your new projects, setting up you know, motion, for example. You want it to go forward, backwards, how fast, for how long do you want it to go forwards, or then turn left, turn right things like that, right? You can put that together yourself. Yes, it does have more complex instructions and more complex things that you kind of snap together, right? It's like a drag and drop thing that you just move around. And um, that's the fun of it as the possibilities are endless here on what you can do and tell the car to do. That's a lot of fun. So first part, putting it together, great fun. Programming is going to be a lot of fun too, depending you know, on what you want to do. You can start with something very simple 
easy and then just press play and watch it go or you can just drive the car you know just forget the programming for a moment and just have fun driving here I am just driving it around using the controls in the app forwards backwards side to side spin it around do things like that now of course you can program it to do this too and then just press play and then just let it do all that you can make an obstacle course and have it go around the obstacle course and program it to do that as well so that's one of the many things that you can do this and you can expand it even further you can see there that there's lots of different plugs on top of that control board and uh, there's different versions uh, of the Adreno modules out there even uh, camera and sensors and voice sensors and things like that so you can expand this and purchase that further if you wanted to do even more on Amazon in the UK here you can see the price 67 pounds 99 pence and you can see also here free delivery 10% off with the PC WizKid code, by the way, if you wanted to use that. Um, it has sold out uh, or not available in other parts of the world, unfortunately, right now. But, you know, hopefully when things get better, uh, you know, we'll be able to uh, purchase that uh, and elsewhere as, as well. So I definitely recommend this from the Eligu folks. You might want to check out their website at eligu.com. Comment below. Let me know what you think. And again, thank you for watching.